Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. Welcome back to the Beta Plans for Return to the Darkest Dungeon. Where a dead puddle? Well, he is gone. Uh, we don't know where he is, but uh, he is in unknown whereabouts after a private game of dice. Oh dear, what have you gotten yourself into, my man? And to Mr. X the Unknown, he just stays in prayer. So, unavailable. Cow Daughter is currently being treated for those nasty, nasty diseases she has. And, uh, well, we have gathered a team to go and beat up the Swine Prince. We will get the Focus Ring, which I quite like. Plus 12 accuracy is quite a bit of a bonus. And plus 1 crit chance. Minus 8 dodge is not good, but if your dodge is perhaps already zero, that's not too, too bad. So what are we rocking? We are rocking Bri with her Rallying Flare. This is only at level 1, because we really are only going to use that clear marked target and clear stun but mainly clear marked target that is going to make this so much easier this fight and you will see why we will have Rav the Red in third position doing mainly that cry havoc and that god dog and his own attacks in fact he will be attacking quite a bit I reckon and uh, well he is rocking also the crescendo box in order to well and allow him to do some damage and that camouflage cloak for that lovely dodge bonus. Bree is completely set up for damage with Dismas on his head and Vengeful Greaves. We have a Luck of Fury and a uh, Pet Luck of Transference up on Iron. This was Blanco Preato, but this guy also plays another character in my D&D groups. Actually, he another on a row out of the ED, he doesn't play two characters at the same time, but... Yes, and that guy's name is Aryan, and he can transform into a dragon. Uh, this guy doesn't really transform into a dragon, but it was fitting. So, indeed, now we have a true new abomination, not some cheap knockoff, though I can't chase Cow Daughter anymore after all those jokes and what have you not. I have to keep Cow Daughter as Cow Daughter. But uh, yeah, Arion joins the team, and Grim then here is, well, he is rocking a ton of HP, 63, that is more than double anyone else's their, um, their HP, in fact, have a little bit less HP on uh, Arion, as well as on Bri, which kind of scares me, because we don't have a true healer in the team, we do have Battlefield Bandage, but that is just about it. We do have two uh, self heal here, so we might just want to equip that, depending on the situation. But this is a media mission. Time to get rocking. Seeing we have so very little healers, I am going to take a ton of food with me. I'm just going to make sure of it. And we are already spending quite a bit of money on this mission as well. Because, well, I have gotten ourselves some extra um, camping skills. I'm going to take only two keys. Because it, se it seems to me like three keys is actually a little bit too much. We're going to take uh, two herbs. And hopefully perhaps some extra food. Take some bandages. We are going into... Mm, we need some anti-venom. Yeah, we're going to the place that we are going to. And we need to really rock some torches. Um, I don't think we will need a holy water. So I'm not going to take a holy water. Everything done. We have shovels. We have anti-venom. We have... Yeah, you know what? Um, yeah, should be fine. And this time I really should not forget... Use a dark cookie the when I want to. The and rituals of blood sacrifice are difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. And that's why he... Well, he is about to tell us why he used so many pigs in his experiments. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. As you say, my ancestor. So, we start over here. Actually, there's no, there's no corridor here. It's kind of an odd way. So, what's the longest way and way? I think there. So, let's not dilly-dally about it. and Let's get to there. Either way also gives me a curio and um oh, no, 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 no. oh This could be very dangerous. These things can cause some issues. Yeah, thanks. Ferdy stress. Well done, Bri. Perhaps you should be a little bit less nosy, huh? I'm actually not sure even sure what this curio does. Wow, I have no idea. 
Ooh, that's too bad. One HP too little in damage. There's a web. Unfortunate. Because that oh it also stuns him. That is really a bad web. Um back to the pit. But seeing we don't have the requirement right now to well do healing or st well we have that priest completely stressed out, but I'm trying to get rid of their combo. That is more or less what I'm trying to do here. Um, actually, get rid of the stun. We can do that. Uh, we'll give ourselves also a debuff. And as we, they now only have a little bit of web. I do think this is quite a good um, moment to do just some stress heal. And stun this guy. There we go. And uh, can you stun this one? Hopefully we're not going to get extra stress for mm, doing a round of stun. Blind fire? Another one falls. No stress relief. That's unfortunate. Um, actually heal it up. If we could just do this one round, um, please let the hound master go before mm, let Rav go for for Bree. Yes, cooked. Then Bree can finish it off. And blind fire this man. Executed with oh, like impunity. Spider. Not pretty a man, but you know what? I mean. Ooh, decent reward. Trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. A dark auto with skulls prominently on the face. A strange power can be felt in his presence. I have no idea what I should do. With great power. Until camp. Extra damage, accuracy, crit chance. Unfortunately, the protection is only because of uh, the move he made. This should have been a little bit better on Arya, but never mind. Uh oh. I ooh, good thing for us that, that is a map and not a valuable, valuable treasure. That's actually oh, boss fight is actually on the other side. Well, good for us still to know. That is an excellent map. Actually, I didn't check. Is there a secret room? No! Ah, too bad. Well, come with him all. We have already been doing quite well as of late. Ooh, we surprised him. Nice. Um... This is dog cookie wordy. Because I don't really want to... Well, actually, I think we're going to fight a little bit more. And seeing we have them surprised, I don't think it is, actually. Let's start actually with Blight. Let's do it. That nice debuff. Uh, won't kill him, unfortunately, but you never know. You! You stun! Uh, yes. Luckily. The movement resistance is right, but As the, the stun falls, did come through. A faint hope blossoms. The advantage was that Evan Priato's blight here attacked both of them, and that's why I found, thought it was quite good. Decreased bleed resistance. Yeah, but... Not worthy of it, and I think that is your death. No, 1 HP too little. That is annoying. Um, actually, could you guard her? As weird as that is, you are doing it. Yeah, because now that comes, but retribution, please. Now, whenever he does his area of effect damage, the man at arms is going to attack him, and she should be defended. Actually, no, that's not true, because its area of effects don't... Whoops. I didn't think. Uh, he is dead. So, we could... We cannot remove the... the... Yeah, is this worthy of it? That's just blind fire. D wow, that shot. Awesome. In fact, they're both dead, so... Heal it up. Stress is gone. And if Rav goes before he goes, we're gonna do another stress relief attempt. Oh, not a big one, but it's something. Indeed it doesn't. Rav, we have a key for you. Because we know we have no secret rooms. This is well spent. Um... Either way, we're going to 
Actually, this is this is a room battle of treasure. So we're going for two battles before we're going to meet the boss. And target the stress uh, dealer. Thank you. Rent for the old gods. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Even if he gets a bleed, I might just bandage it up because then it might be worthy to bandage up. But he resists all of it. Bye, mommy. Uh, kill her before she can act. I could have actually done their uh, the stress heal because, of course, Bri was uh, still had to go. Yoza. And well, we don't even need to stun him. That is a big, big hit. That is a bit of a bad stress heal, but all right. Can with them all. Uh, you know what? Bandage him up a little bit. Uh, we won't be able to do that, so just kill him then, in that case. It's a little heal. And every little bit of heal might be nice. Uh, we're definitely going to take the crust with us. In fact, did we notice that there is, like, no blockage in this? There's, like, no blockage at all. So, take it along. Um, oh. Well, unfortunately, but he does it. Fool me once. Bloodthirsty. Fascinated with injury, wounds, and torture. Okay then. Lovely little Bree has just become... Blood crazy. He needs to go. Surprised again. Oh, this dungeon... This dungeon is going my way. That, however, is a very unfortunate dodge. And I want you to whistle him. Because we know the damage that an um, obelisk can do when a once target is marked with that sniper shot. 31 damage. Yowza! Hulk, where it hurts. Alright. Oh, we dodge. Very nice. And he's getting more and more to do in the front, but I think he always can vomit. So that isn't, like, a big bonus. What we can do... How much blight resistance do you have? Not a lot, huh? Well, this is your higher one. Why not Why not guarantee kill him? I mean, I would hit him, but... Destroy them all. Ooh. Unfortunate crit there. That's another unfortunate crit. Um, stun you. Oh, Don, he is in the wrong spot. Well, we can. I will reverse that down because he needs to be healed. There we go. And you kill him so that we have less damage coming in, less possible chance for crits and what have you. Not. Guard him, Ralph, please. And you start healing him up. Just a few rounds of heals. Um, in fact, I may just actually target whistle you because you do have some protections. Uh, don't you? I think normally you do. What is your stun resistance actually? 65 against 110. That's not even that bad of a chance. Let's try it. And another crit, and a stun! That is awesome! Um, retribution, so that we are attacking it and the game is going to say like, hey, you're cheating. Oh, that's a good crit. That is a good crit in heal. In fact, that is good enough for me to say, we'll kill this bastard. Um, voila! Success so clearly in view, or is it merely a trick of the light? Unfortunately, I kind of wish I could open this up yet before we dump the gold. Now this is 500 together, but I assume we will get more gold, so I'm dumping this. But it's it's not the easiest of decisions. Oh, good portraits. I like that. 
So, I say we're going to go for the balls, and then we're just gonna walk around and do some stuff. Um, I don't even see a reason to camp out here right now. I'll probably eat some food just before we go in. And don't make me forget dog cookie. Uh, 60 distance, 90... Um, uh, I wish I could give it to Bree, but... That would be a bit too dangerous. I'm going to take the guaranteed stress of relief. Place the torch. Time to eat a little bit. Oh, I... <laughs> yeah, crests can't be eaten. Wonder why. Should be hardy. Um... Oh, actually, if you can eat it, eat it. There we go. Swine Prince, we've come for you. Yeah, this is the thing. He has a little buddy, and his little bunny marks targets, and he makes use of that. Uh, we can't stun him, he's too far in the back. How about his blight? He has, like, no blight resistance. Light it up. The problem with him, this only is, is that Brie is very, very slow. She's lethargic, which is causing some issues here. Um, I am going to protect her, actually. I could have done retribution, though. Yeah, here, he obliterate the masses. That damage is going to hit me a few times over. I could kill this little guy, called Wilbur, but... If you do that, the big guy goes crazy that you kill this little friend. And even more so... If you do this... Oh... Um... If... Masterfully wow, 31 damage once again, thank you to Denmark. If you kill him, as I said, he, he goes crazy. There's actually also uh, a, a achievement that uh, if you lose an adventure to this little guy, because he is just, as you can see, end this one or end this two skills in the right lower corner. That's all he does almost, unless this guy dies. Then he has yet another ability. Uh, I know Iron is hurt, but that blight will stack it up. Six damage per round. That's pretty freaking awesome. Also, you are marked, which also does more damage here. And now we also bleed you. Let's do the retribution. And luckily, he tends to mark people in the front, or in the second and third position. He doesn't tend to do that in the back. And that, of course, is awesome for us. Because this guy has a ton of HP. Well, unfortunately, he doesn't go for the one in the front, but we guarded it. So, nonetheless, he had to. And now he does this again. And these two... Ooh, didn't realize that. Should be careful with that. Wilbur getting half his HP loss due to that <laughs> hit back. Well, perhaps Wilbur will die and you will see him go crazy, but it should... We should be fine enough. Um, actually... Guard the Obelisk again. Obliterate masses again, I think I... Ooh, nice crit. I think this is death, though. Yeah, but the bleed and blinds. This has been good. He's down. And there goes down Wilbur, and this guy should go mad, but he won't. Because, well, he has way too much damage already. Time to heal. Give some stress heal. And time for you to heal up normally. Iron, because you are pretty hurt. And by the way... Is even more horrible than death. Cannot come soon enough. That is also fitting, because this Iron character in my campaign, he's a healer. Hmm... I think we brought way too many bandages, but... These g they're Ooh, the Manslaying Ring is not actually that bad. That's actually not that bad. Bleedstone, hmm. Still, it is more money. I say we light a torch. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. Alright. We still have more than enough for... Um, a camp. But let's first just get our due reward, shall we? Ooh, this is a good one. This is another place where you can get rid of a nasty, nasty negative trait. Lazy Eye. Eh, that's okay. The only range skill, I think, is Blight. And that is enough of an accuracy. Fear of the Unholy is a bit annoying, but... Mm, 
of Garden's slow reflexes, both causing him speed. And dodge. I may want to get rid of that. I mean, she... The problem with Bree is Bree wants to touch everything, but it's so fitting for her character that she played that I kind of want to keep that. Um... I don't mind the minus 10 bleed resist that much. Ruminator is... Uh, anemic is kind of bad, though. Anemic is kind of the worst there. I think I'm actually, however, going to give... Rav here. Slow reflexes removed. Unfortunately, I kind of want to have off guard more removed, but mm, never you mind. Finding the stuff is only and then here, now it is good that now we can trade those gemstones old. for the gold. It's only 25 more at the moment, but it is more. And we are gonna loop around. Almost walked into that trap. That was way too close. We're going to take a chance for B. Good work. Get that stress lowered. Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles. Paid for in blood. And we need to keep the uh, torch light high because the well the trinket of the houndmaster works on that. Room battle with Curio. Yeah, but that mm, how are we gonna walk through this? I also would like to see this Curio, but if we just did like this Heirlooms! Um, there aren't that many curios in here, I think, that require bandages. We didn't even use a dog cookie! <laughs> Man, am I bad at that! I uh, think it's becoming quite clear that I'm a cat person, which is true! I am a cat person, I had a lovely cat, but unfortunately she has p passed away, but... Um, Ah, we don't need cookies in this dungeon. We can handle this dungeon too easily. There we go. Then we won't attack this fight. Then we're going to go down here into two fights. Go here, have one quarter extra, and then we'll come up here and see what we all can do before we need to camp and get out and what have you not. Uh, you know what? One more torch. Oh no, four maggots. They have like no HP and what have you not. In fact, I'm just going to heal up a little bit. And kill one. Cleansed from our lands. Kill another. And kill the last one. Well, not the last one, but the one we can still heal. And then one Grave Nibble. Oh man, he hits. That is stress. What I kind of hoped for is that that would miss. I, of course, you want to have it miss, but then, uh. Yeah, you never your mind. It doesn't really matter, anyways. Whoa, he survives! He doesn't even get stunned! The little maggot that could! Well, over 22... Damage is a little bit more than a maggot can handle. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. We know, Wayne, we know. Oh! Another one of those! Don't mind if I do, but there is a lot of stress coming our way and possible diseases. Which is something I do not agree with. Um, I'm actually going to blind the two of you. Because that means just one little bit of a hit and it would be fine. This, ooh, that is a good one for us. Rent for the old gods, alright. Dodge as well. That's awesome. Uh, I'm going to make sure that you de are dead. Oh, that ball and chain reaches further than I think. That could be a... Is a stun. Alright. Then we're going to not mark this target, we're going to stall the bleed on this target. And we're gonna go again. So, no stress. That is awesome. Let's get ourselves a little stun in here. Yeah, the padlock of transference here. Plus 30% chance for blight and stun. That's pretty freaking awesome. Because these, both these skills are used outside of his transformation and... Well, that is quite good. Let's get him healed up a little. I think we have the time for that. And this should probably kill you. Actually, minimal damage would have killed you, so yes, it will. Uh, he has stun resistance, but we have the bad luck of transference, so who knows? Oh, there we go. Uh, well, actually, only she is stressed, but she's still stressed quite a bit, Bri. 
And he is stunned, so let's do it. Perfect. As long as it works on her, then I am cool with it. Big blow. That is awesome. And there's a crit. And he already had a healing bonus, so that is working out wonders as well. And... Just kill him. I mean, minimal damage would kill him. Cool, look at that stress relief. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Well, we definitely overprepared, but I re oh, no, unfortunately now there is a jade. Um, I'm not um the anti-venom. I think there are some herb stuff in here that you can find some in curious that require herb, so I'm actually going to throw away the anti-venom as strange as it may seem. And we are going to go with a bonus for Ion in power. Awesome. In fact, all of them had them on. The, they were completely symmetric there, I think. Here you go, guys. You have your food. More stashed heirlooms. And this is why I really enjoy walking just a wee little bit further in this dungeon. Just having a nice little stroll and, uh, well, talking to you, my watchers. Wow, this is a whole big, different type of ball game than when we had that terrible, terrible team loss. Uh, I think this one is exactly what requires herbs. The dinner cart. Yes, indeed. Cleanse the meat. That is a lot of food. And that is an awesome trinket that we are going to take with us. Um... Just eat. Enjoy your meal. Man, that was a lot of food that we got out of there. And I'm going to drop... Well, I don't want to drop the herbs if we can get another camouflage cloak for it. Yoza. Um, the torches? Yeah, let's do the torches. There we go. Who needs light anyway? So actually that kind of makes his... his uh, this one requires normally bandages. A handsome reward. For a task well performed. Oh, thank you. But, uh, one fight then without that cloak, but we will... Ooh, that also requires herbs, I believe. But we will have, of course, the advantage that we can still camp out and get some light back. Too bad about the stress. And you, unfortunately, have that penalty, and you have the worries. Which is about the worst disease you can get, because it is a lot of extra stress damage. Um, I know these guys still need to go, but I really want these guys stunned and not reacting for the next rounds or so and mark this one so that the obelisk can kill him I guess we have to do one disease removal you can't uh, have everything go perfect otherwise this wouldn't be the darkest dungeon after all nice little bit of stress relief And take care of that as well. We have enough ways to... Uh, in fact, it was a bit of a shame that they targeted him instead of Aryan Grimm, because mm, Aryan has his own stuff for release. Ooh, that Deceased crit! Blow to body and brain. Whoa! The whole team got a little bit worried about that. But that makes me think that we uh, need to start stress healing again. Certainly in the whole team has it, it is rather uh, has a good chance to be extremely effective, just like that. And this might kill you. And it does. And another crit even. And... oh. Well... I say guard her. I don't want that ball and chain hitting her again. Uh, well, no, 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 we don't need that. Um... Blind fire because she can't hit him otherwise. Rav, we need you. Um, I kind of don't want to kill him yet. All right. This is a bit of a uh, cheesing it out, so I hope I won't get punished too quickly. Uh, that's unfortunate. Oh. Look, exactly what I was protecting against. Oh, uh, well, let's kill him before they start complaining. 
Ooh, another emerald. Don't mind if I can do. They can be beaten. And a ton of food. <laughs> Not the way we really need it, but let's walk down this hallway. What, what, why am I stopping? Oh, because there was a food activation. I was like, why am I stopping? I didn't tell you. Wealth beyond measure. Uh, to the brave and the foolhardy alike. Let's hope that we find a little bit more gold, huh? To make that trade worthwhile. So let's uh, just camp out here a little. I say we're gonna go this way. Well, actually, then we should just make one more hallway, and in the next room we should camp out. And unfortunately, we have no torches anymore. That's unfortunate. Well, too bad. I don't know what that thing actually does if you don't have any torches. I kind of believe it's, it's just a big little stress relief. Because normally you burn the evil writings. Circle in the dark. The battle may yet be won. Just get rid of all that stress. And we still have one more food activation, so that should also be fine. Uh, I want to kind of um, prevent the nighttime ambush. Actually, we have more than enough ways to actually kind of say we want it. Like, there's no need to prevent it. So let's do tactics. Let's do weapon practice. And now we have, like, a ton of buffs for the entire team. That's crazy. And we could do restring crossbow? Yeah, but... Or marching plan? Perhaps a surprise chance is good, but that prevents the nighttime ambush. Mm, we don't need the scouting, and we already got a map, so that's all fine. We don't need a stress heal. We don't need anger management, because they're just gonna give us stress. The quickening? Because, I mean, this is very good maintaining equipment, but... Well, she's slow anyways. Let's just take restring crossbow. Alright, let's rest. Promise of safety. Unfortunately, no ambush. There we go. Oh no, maggots. Who are surprised even? Yeah, I think we're gonna get through this fight. I should stop saying that because then every time a maggot survives. Mm, not the best stress heal, but. We'll just get to the stress heal by, well, doing a crit and killing something. And blind fire. How many... Yoza, that's also of course because we have... Look at the amount of buffs that is on Bri. This is crazy. This is an a silly amount of buffs, but... <laughs> this team is not a bad team, so to speak. Perhaps, perhaps we should send this team also against the Wizened Hag. Let's get this... Oh, no. Books? Well, then the last bit of reward we can get from this battle. Ooh, unfortunately, that's a battle with a lot of stress possibilities. Well, we have a stun on one of the dangerous guys, but this is the other one, and he starts with his major attack of that. Oh, well. A little bit of stress, because we have to go to relieve that in the next dungeon. Ooh, nice dodge, despite the fact that he has a problem with that. Which I probably have already told you so many times that you're getting a wee little bit annoyed in hearing that, sorry. And sniper shot this guy into the next room. Bree? Are you okay? You you have a serious damage bonus. You have a marked target and you fail? Oh no, is this really going to go down to us getting a ton of stress? Where it really wasn't needed, and these guys don't have a lot of HP anyway, also, so it's like... Not that easy to get... To prolong this fight too much. Who oh well, um... Stun this dude. Kill him. That is very unfortunate that this guy uh, didn't die as quickly as he should have. There we go. Get rid of nasty stress. We were, like, stress-free. Try and stun him. Any stun is good. Unfortunate. 
That's a good dodge. That's a good dodge. I, I like that. Um, I'll just kill him. There we go. Ion feels no stress whatsoever. He is more than happy to fight with this team. And actually, it is getting quite reduced. It's fine. Yeah, I have to kill him before before they start complaining and we get more stress than we can heal. Kill it! And that's also a good kill for Bree because she had the most stress of them all. As victories mount, so too will resistance. It's too bad that we find yet another Jade because then total that one was done 500, uh, 1000 gold worth. But I say we drop the gold and take the Crusader's Crest because that's gonna be worth more. We're gonna drop the food, and we're gonna take the jade and say sorry that we ever dropped you. And then we're gonna get out of this dungeon! I think that was a, a good dungeon. The, the loot isn't that big. But we got a lot of trinkets that we can sell, so this is kind of like mm, an odd... Uh, a not proper displacement of the amount of money that we got. We got some heirlooms. That's n not to be underestimated. And we can still send this entire team out to fight the wizard hag. That's pretty good. Clutch hitter. The worries is going to be annoying. Critical eye. Egomania. That doesn't really, really matter. Abolutomaniac with cleansiness. Ruins explorer. Well, we're not going to go into ruins. Perhaps we're just going to have to leave it at that. But we are going to say, okay, you know what? Whatever. You're going to go with the worries into... The town is alive with wild merriment. And desperate jubilation. Wow, that is like the best town event I've ever seen. All stress relief activities are free. We're gonna take that. And, um, yeah, we're, don't worry, Bree, we're going to do it. Unfortunately, nothing what we want. I am going to uh, take care of everything else, and we'll leave you right back. Well, actually, for you guys, the next day. Unless you're watching this way in the future and the whole series is already done, then uh, I, you're a little late to the party, but you're still welcome. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to take care of things, and I'll see you in the next episode. I say a thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.